This is Lucille, formerly Hannah Lucy. She's a 60-foot cruiser-style narrowboat built by David Piper in 1986. She's in nice condition. She was repainted by CJ Painters in 2015. She was blacked in May 2016. So externally, she's tidy. The well deck needs some attention. You'll see that in a minute. That's a sand and a paint job. Nothing too onerous. And inside, she's lovely. The well deck is, the locker in the well deck is just for storage. The gas bottles you'll see a bit later are on the stern deck. So it's just storage in there. The well deck's three foot eight inches long. The front doors are glazed. There are boards to go in the glazing for darkness. I've left one in there so you can see. And on into the boat we go. The saloon is huge. It's 16 feet, two inches long. Piranha pine, tongue and groove to the cabin sides and ceiling. And it's pine face ply below the gunnels. It's painted in here in the saloon. And the floor is wood laminate. Storage under the step there, and the more so squirrel is in the corner here. That heats the radiators on board through the back boiler. No other central heating, but there's a radiator in the bedroom and in the galley towards the stern. She's reverse style, by the way, I didn't mention that. Nice sofa here, opposite the wall mounted television and DVD player. There's an Ottoman footrest with quite a lot of linen storage in there and a nice chest of drawers underneath with plenty of drawer space and a cupboard over. There's a bit of a musical theme on this boat. I'm not sure what that refers to, but it's all quite charming. There we go, huge saloon. Lots of space, lots of light. The windows are big. Head height in this boat is six feet one. Down we go into the bedroom. There's one of the radiators I mentioned, heated by the more so. Storage under the bed. Some drawers at the end. And a cupboard under the head end, or a couple of cupboards actually. Good space. The bed's a four poster style. There's only one poster, but it has the feel of a four poster bed. It's lovely. Good drawers here. The bed is six foot three long, by the way and a huge wardrobe and shelf cupboard at the foot of the bed. The bedroom's 10 feet long. There you are, it's the view from the stern end of the bedroom. Down through the corridor on the starboard side, and the bathroom's next. Another big window here. It is a light boat. It's a wet room arrangement in here. There's the shower. There are two loos on here. One's a Sealand pump out there, and then there's another porta potty. That can stay or go. You can choose yourselves. Sink next to the pump out loo. And out we go into the galley. The galley's 11 feet 7 inches long. The stoves 500, gas, four burner, hob, oven and grill are here. Next to that is the stainless steel sink with the draining board facing the right way, in my opinion, and plenty of cupboards underneath and a cutlery drawer. The fridge is a 12 volt lick. There's quite useful storage space and a coat rack here in the corner next to the other radiator. Opposite on the starboard side, another couple of good sized cupboards. This houses the electrics, fuse boxes. There's no inverter on board, 230 volts would be via landline hookup. 
The rest of the boat currently is 12 volt, but it's easy enough to put a, an inverter on board, of course. Here's a single seated dinette that converts into a single berth. I'll just go back down here and show you the cupboard opposite the cooker. It's huge. The larder, cupboard stroke, wardrobe. If you didn't want another wardrobe in addition to the bedroom wardrobe, you could shelve this whole cupboard and it will give you ample room. So there we go, I'll reverse out of the galley onto the stern deck. That's nearly eight feet long, the stern deck, seven feet, 11 inches we've measured it at. Here's a view from the helmsman's position. I'll just show you the stern deck. The gas lockers are either side of the rear doors here, 13 kilos in each. So we go, Lucille. For further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to www.rugbyboat.co.uk.